Today's video is going to be a quick and easy one. I'll be showing you arguably the simplest and easiest equipment dupe and WST in version 1.2.1. The glitch I'll be going over is called Peloson duping, and it's also a glitch that I've already covered in a previous version. It was actually the second glitch I ever made a video on all the way back in 1.1.2, but thanks to more recent discoveries, namely the new fuse entanglement methods that I covered in my last video, we finally have an easy way to re-access this glitch. Because this video is going over both duplication and WST, I'll be covering the methods to desync your equipment first, then going over how to achieve either duplication or WST once your item has been desynced. This is just going to let me avoid everything getting really jumbled up and super confusing between all the different methods. Also, real quick, for anybody who might not be aware, WST stands for Weapon Stat Transfer and basically lets you copy the durability, the fused material, and any upgrades such as Attack Up or Durability Plus onto a different equipment that doesn't already have those. The first thing we need to do for all this is head to a small call zone. If you're already familiar with what those are, then just go ahead and make your way to whichever one you prefer to use. If you have no clue what that means, then just go ahead and warp to the Akala Citadel Ruins right here. This is the location that I'm going to be using to outline all these steps. There's no real special reason why I'm using this location, I just personally find that the Citadel Call Zone is a lot easier to work with than the other ones. So, a quick little note. I'm going to be referring to the different weapons that we'll be using throughout this as the base item, the target item, and donor item. Target item will refer to the equipment that you're duping or WSTing. Base item will refer to the equipment that you're fuse entangling your target to. And donor item is just the equipment that you're copying all of the stats from when you perform WST. I'll have little card graphics down in the bottom left throughout this just to help you keep track of what's what. So there are technically two processes to this, depending on whether or not you entangle your target item to a base of the same type. I'm going to be starting with the process for a shield base. This one will work for both melee weapons and bows. So to start, go ahead and drop your target item. Now grab it with Ultra Hand, position Link behind this line here, then push the target item up against the wall, but do not drop it yet. Instead, you need to pull up the ability wheel and swap to Fuse. This will drop the item, but automatically highlight it with Fuse. If your item just disappears and doesn't get highlighted, that means that you are too far away from the wall. Go ahead and just walk back toward it until the target item reappears, then grab it again with Ultra Hand and set yourself back up a little bit closer to this line. Now we need to perform a glitch called Fuse Storage. And there are two methods that you can use to do this. First, press minus, watch a memory, and then when that's done, close the menu and press the button to fuse as soon as the menu closes out. You can mash the button with this method, but it will not make it 100% consistent. For the second method, press B and L at about the same time to cancel fuse, but then immediately bring it back up. And as soon as fuse comes back up, you need to press the button to actually fuse. This method is a bit harder to get used to and you can't mash it. But in my opinion, once you've had a little bit of practice, it's far easier and much more consistent. So regardless of which of those methods you use, once you've pressed the button to fuse, you're done fuse storage. So next, we need to perform another glitch called FSFE, or Fuse Storage Fuse Entanglement. There are also multiple methods for this, but I'm just going to show the one that's easier and more consistent in my opinion. So after fuse storage, go ahead and press minus and watch two memories. When those are done, press plus to switch to the inventory, then unequip and re-equip your base item. Now unpause, and if you did the fuse storage right, the target item will jump behind Link and it'll get fuse entangled to the equipped base item. Now we need to actually desync our target item. So to do this, making sure that you have nothing equipped in that slot, pick up your target item and then unequip your base item. 
This is going to cause the target item to disappear from Link's hands, but it'll still be showing as equipped if you open the menu. At this point, your target item is desynced, and you can go ahead and skip to either the duplication or WST timestamps to continue, whichever one you want to do. And for those of you doing this with bows, here's the visual steps for how that works. It's the exact same process, but here's the visual so you can see it. And again, at this point, your target item is desynced, and you can skip ahead to either the duplication or WST timestamps to continue. Now, if you choose to use a melee weapon as a base instead of a shield, then these exact steps will work, but you'll be able to use them for shields and bows as opposed to melee weapons and bows. Now, if you want to do this with a target item and base item that are the same type, for example, both of them being shields, the only bit of the process that's going to be different is specifically how we achieve the desync. So go ahead and perform your fuse entanglement using the exact same steps as before. Once your items are entangled, you need to make sure that you drop the base item. Now, without equipping anything else to that slot, pick up the target item and then pick up the base item. When you pick the base item up, the target item should disappear from Link's hand, but it will still show as equipped if you open the menu. At this point, your target item is desynced. Actually, duplicating your item is incredibly simple. Once your target item is desynced, simply swap to a different item of the same type, then swap back. Your target item will be visible again, and you'll see that your base item also has the target item fully fused to it now. From here, you can either head over to Terrytown and remove the duplicate from the base item with Pelisson, or you can just put on some fresh equipment, reset, and duplicate some more. Achieving WST is equally as simple as duping. Once your target item is desynced, drop your donor item, pick it back up, then swap to a different item of the same type. When you switch back, the durability, upgrade modifier, and fused material will have been copied over to your target item. As a bonus, this will complete the fuse to the base item, just like with the duplication process, meaning that your target item will also get duped just from doing WST. But do be aware that the duplicate copy that's fused to your shield will not have or keep any prior upgrades that might have been there. That will just duplicate as a fresh base weapon. And there you go. Super simple and super easy dupe and WST for everybody that's fed up with using the Stalvoko method. Yes, I do see your comments. But that's it. Insert typical call to action, social plugs, yada yada yada, you know the drill by now. A special thank you to Timber and David Richard. You can get your name up here with these awesome people by becoming a channel member for as low as 99 cents a month. But that's, that's my only shill. I'll see you in the next one.